The two misconceptions about the job is that, number one, you sit down and draw pretty pictures all day, and the second one in the, is that you've got a fantastic wardrobe because often you're so busy making clothes for everybody else that you just recycle the same old things for yourself. Fashion design's always been a part of my life. My label, Elsie Jean, is the name of my two nanas. One was a seamstress and the other one has been doing made-to-measure all her life. I used to dress up myself and my nanas dressed and when I was, whatever, knee-high to a grasshopper, so... Um, oh, and I was making clothes for my Barbie doll as well. It was always, um, you know, Barbie's not going to marry Ken. It's, oh, well, she's getting changed now and now she's getting changed again. So I guess it's always been part of my life. I have a list of what I need to do for a day. Typically, it would involve going to at least two different places. There's a lot of driving around you have to do, so 24 hours generally isn't enough. Was it one of the knits, was it, the stretch knit? Yeah, yeah. I think to be a fashion designer, especially when you're first starting out, it's really important. You have to be a jack of all trades. You have to sort of marry the business side of things with the artisticness of, you know, designing products. The design part's probably more natural for me when you're dealing with fabrics. Um, you just look at them and say, oh, that would look fantastic like this, or, um, yeah, you just generally, when you look at the fabric, you can think about how it would fall properly or the designs that you would do out of it. But there's a lot more to it. You have to develop it. Um, you can't always make gorgeous avant-garde pieces that won't sell. You always have to make them really as cheap as you possibly can, so then they're cheap for the consumer as well. Some manufacturers do the cut, make and trim themselves, so the trim is just um, like putting the tags on or um, sort of quality checks. My manufacturer just sews and presses, so I save a lot of money by cutting okay, the so garments myself. How are you going? Hello. How's it been today? Really well. We've sold really well. I'm part of a store called Merge Clothing at the Colonnade. It was originally a concept store for new designers. Hi, how are you going? Can I take those and put them in the table? The events yeah. manager at the Colonnade came to our school and offered us the um, opportunity straight out of so college. Like so okay. two weeks after he graduated, we were in yeah, the store so yeah, already. Oh, my waist, so yeah. Because it's supposed to sit like on an angle. Oh, like okay. Yeah. Yeah, they look great. We can pin that top bit down for you as well. The public was really excited, so they got behind right, us, so had, just um, really backed us from the beginning. Yeah. Because my designs are really original with the particular, like an architecture style print, they sold very well right from the beginning. So I just decided then that, you know, if this is what I was really going to do, I needed to put the money straight back into the business. So in two months now, we've got our one year anniversary. Apart from Merge, I also supply to three other stores. Um, there's Varga Girl and Angel Hearts in the city, and then there's Eros in Fremantle. How you usually get into the stores, um, you can just, what's called cold canvas, you can just walk in and show them your range. I studied a three year course at TAFE. The third year is basically about your show and you spend six months developing your final year range, which is then paraded. Our year was actually the first year to have a trade presentation as well so that industry could come and see the work of the graduates. The industry here in Perth is really quite small and close-knit, so doing the work experience um, gets you a lot of contacts really quickly. Sorry. We have people at Merge coming in from Sydney or Melbourne and just going, oh my goodness, do you supply anywhere over east? So we just have something that people over east don't offer. I keep a filing cabinet with um, each door's invoices separately. Um, also make a note in my diary when I expect those invoices to be paid. So that way you keep track and make sure that people are paying you on time. She was so desperate for it and she just looked amazing in it. The two main things you really want to do is um, wear your clothing and have business cards. I think wearing your clothing around, you just, you're advertising the whole time. It's a free advertisement. It's like another, a separate order. I guess I've so never aspired to be a Versace yeah. or anything like that, which is supplying all over the world. Um, but then again, I never expected to be where I am now. So in that way, I've never dreamt of doing it, but I also realise it's possible. So in five years time, I'd love to be supplying over East and just be respected in the industry.